Hello. In this video, we are going to go over finding the limiting reactant, finding the excess reactant, and using that to find the necessary mass of a product that we need. In this equation, we're looking for N2. So let's read it. What mass of N2 will be generated by the reaction between 50 grams of NH3 with 150 grams of CuO? What mass of excess reactant is left over? So the first thing we need to do is start with what we're told. So we are told two separate reactants, right? We are told we have 50 grams of NH3 and we have 150 grams of CuO. All we need to do is convert both of these to moles or grams of the of the product that we're looking for, which in this case is nitrogen. So I'm just going to convert both of these to grams of nitrogen. Then we're going to get part A done. We're going to be able to recognize the limiting reactant, and that's going to help us get part C done or B done. Okay. So first, we have grams of NH3. How do we get out of grams of NH3? We don't want it. So we have to put it on the lower part of our conversion. Where does grams go to? Well, it's only either moles that way. So we're going to get moles of NH3 and grams. Now, what we need to do is we know one mole is going to be equal to the molar mass of NH3. We find the molar mass of NH3 by taking the periodic table and adding up their molar masses. So nitrogen is 14.007 plus three times 1.008. So doing this 14.007 plus three times 1.008 is going to get 17.031. That's going to be our molar mass that we're going to put right here. Next, we're going to want to convert this further. We don't want moles of NH3, so I put mole of NH3 on the bottom. Where do we want to go? Well, this is where our mole, the mole ratio is going to take into effect. We're going to use the balanced equation. We don't want NH, NH3, we want nitrogen. So we're going to put moles of nitrogen, or N2, on top. And there's only one mole, according to the balanced equation, and two moles of NH3 here. That's it. So remember, we have to match these up. So grams have canceled, moles have canceled. Now we're on moles of N N2. We don't want moles of N2. So we put, let me just move this over really fast. So we don't want moles of N2. So we're going to put moles of N2 on the bottom because we're looking for the mass of N2. So we're going to put grams of N2 on top. And we know when moles and grams are involved, it's the mole to mole, I mean, molar mass of the element. So we have two times 14.007. And we can see that that is going to be 28.014. Now let's fill out, before we do anything else, let's fill out, because now we're at grams of nitrogen. Let's fill out our other conversion. We don't want grams of CuO, so we're going to put grams of CuO on the bottom, and we're going to put one mole of CuO on top, because grams goes to moles, or moles goes to grams in that molar mass. Now we're going to find the molar mass of CuO by adding the separate molar masses, only one of each, so we're just going to add one of each. So copper is 63.546. Oxygen is 16. So we do 63.546 plus 16 is equal to 79.546. So we do 79.546 on the denominator. And then we continue. Now we have, if we can look above, if we did the above correctly as well, we have our mole to mole ratio. I don't want moles of CuO. So I put copper oxide on the bottom. I want moles of nitrogen. So what we're going to do is we use the balanced equation. We have a three in front of that. So we're going to put the three here. One once again. And then we'll finish it off by converting to grams. And that one, we can just copy and paste this guy over here. 
28.014 grams of nitrogen over one mole of nitrogen. And as you can see, grams of C copper oxide cancels, moles of copper oxide cancels, moles of nitrogen cancels, leaving us with grams. So now we're gonna just plug into our calculator and find both of these answers. The one with the lower amount is the answer. And the reactant that got us that lower amount is what we call the limiting reactant. So let's plug in Chuck. All right, 50 times 28.014 in parentheses divided by 17.013 times two and all of that in parentheses. Make sure you do that in the calculator. So let me write that out. You're gonna write numerator all multiplied together, numerators, and divide parentheses denominators. That's what you're gonna do. So after doing that, you're gonna get 41.12 grams of nitrogen. We're, in, we're going to plug the next one in, parentheses 150 times 28.014, close parentheses, divided by parentheses 79.546 times three. And then we get 17.61 grams of nitrogen. All right. So now, while we look at this, we can see what our limiting reactant is. Our limiting reactant is the reactant that caused the lowest amount of nitrogen to be created. So now we have the answer of how much nitrogen is created the mass of nitrogen will be 17.61 grams of nitrogen. Now, if we're going to follow sig figs, it'll be 17.6 grams of nitrogen. What is our limiting reactant? Reactant. Our limiting reactant is CuO, copper oxide. What does that mean? That means what's in excess. Let's rewrite that because that's very messy. What is an excess is our other reactants, which is our ammonia. All right, our NH3. So what we need to do now is we need to find what mass of excess is re in the reactants left over. So to find C, all we need to do is take our limiting reactant, what we have, 150 grams of CuO, and convert that to NH3. By doing that, we have to convert copper oxide to moles of copper oxide. We have the grams up here already at 79.546. Then we're going to mole to mole ratio, which is, we can write that a little smaller. Mole to mole ratio, we're going to have mole of copper oxide on the bottom and mole of NH3 on top. We take their numbers and their coefficients from the balanced equation, two over three. And then lastly, we're gonna multiply and get convert to grams by putting moles of NH3 on the bottom, one mole, and then the molar mass of NH3, which we have from up here. So 17.031 grams. Let's make this smaller grams of NH3. We're going to now plug that into our calculator and solve it out. 79.546, 150, 17.031, and then one more number times three. Plug that in and we get 21.41 grams of NH3. So this is how much of, of NH3 is used in the reaction. So how to find the excess is we're going to be given our initial amount told minus the amount that will be used. And then that is going to give us our answer. 50 minus 21.41 is 28.59. And that is in grams of NH3. So that is how we answer and find all of this in excess.
excess. So that is how you find using your limiting reactant, one, how to identify the limiting reactant, how to find the mass of a product using the limiting reactant, and how to find which of the reactants is in excess. If you have any other questions, please just shoot me an email.